All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna do kind of a quick video. It's just something real, basically simple. We're just gonna change out some rail slides. Some people call them high facts. And this is on the O2 ZR800CC cross country. Um, all it is is really just a couple of bolts in front of the skid and then positioning the track in the right spot to where a window is directly behind the actual slide itself. And then you just take a hammer and uh, I use some type of wood dowel that usually makes it to where you don't have to worry about banging anything up except for the wood. So, all right, guys, hopefully you'll stay with us and watch the process. It's pretty quick. I'm sure you'll get a kick out of it. All right, so we're back here under the sled. We got the sled inside and it's lifted up off the ground. We're not going to pull the skid out. The only thing that we're going to do is pull out these the high facts. So the first thing we're going to do here is go ahead and get all this ice out of here. I mean, as you can see, it's built up pretty good there. So you want to get the ice out of there. It's pretty easy. Let's fire up the old map gas. All right, so the next thing you want to do is make sure that you are lined up with the bolt on the bottom. Now that's probably going to be a Phillips for yours, depending on the year. I swapped mine out, so I got a socket head there. So you want to make sure the window's right over that. And what you want to do is just go ahead and pull that nut off of there. like that then go to the other side do the same thing all right so the next thing you're gonna want to do is position the track so that the wind one of the windows is right behind your rail slide and that way you can go ahead and pop that thing through there and pull it out but first you're gonna you want to make sure the windows line and then you're going to go in the front and uh, kind of bang it through. Okay, so you want to come to the front and move, align the window to where you can get to the clip. Oh, I'm sorry. Align the track, one of the track windows, so you can get to the front of the rail slide. And then just. They can be stubborn, so I'll just be prepared for that. You'll have to check where the rear window is on the high fax rail slide as well. Looks like we're just about ready to pop through.
All right, so you might not be able to see it at this point, but just keep watching there. You'll see it. Come on out. There you go. Nice one. Oh, wow. Yeah, that sucker wore through. I think I actually caught a hole. Well, that's cool. Oh. All right, let's see if we can give it a yank. Oh man, look at that. It's barely through. <laughs> I don't know if you want to call that barely. That's all the way through, but I guess what I'm thinking is that it didn't do a whole lot of damage to the rail. To take a look. That's it right there. It's still pretty thick. And it doesn't look like there's much of a sharpness to it at the bottom edge. So we're good to go. All right, so let's move on to the next step. All right, so we got two new rail slides here, and we have the old ones. So, like I said, that wore through pretty good. Uh, I think I caught it in time to where it didn't really do much at all. So, here's the other one. As you can see, that's that's a high wear spot right there. So, um, yeah, the last time we went up to, uh, when we went up to Grayling a couple weekends ago. Well, it will be a couple weekends ago, about a week and a half. There was quite a bit of dirt up there on a, I'd say maybe a 300 foot stretch of Trail 7 next to I-75, just south of Grayling. So, yeah, you can see quite a bit of grime. But, hey, for 40 or 50 bucks for a set of rail slides, that's not bad for uh, getting out and enjoying your, your season, starting your season. So... All right, so the next step we want to do is just go ahead and measure these from the front here. And you can either measure them or just mark them. I mean, they, you know, as long as they're within like a quarter inch, you're good to go. But, uh, but for the sake of argument, we'll go ahead and measure these. So the old one... is 34 and three quarters. So you can cut them both at that length. All 
All right, so now we know that these are 34 and a quarter. Um, the tool that I like to use to cut these, it just makes it a lot easier, um, is actually a PVC pipe cutter. Uh, it's, it does up to one and five eighths inch or 41 millimeter. This sucker just chomps right through these things. So we'll see how well it does. I'm not sure how old these things are. <clears throat> they came with a sled that I have, so. 43 and three quarters. They came with a couple of other sleds and um, the guy just gave them to me, so. Let's go ahead and give it a mark. May as well mark the other one while we're at it. Measure twice, cut once, fellas. 43 and three quarters. All right, and once you have your cuts, just go ahead and give it a snip. Just like that. You can really do whatever you want with these. Um, be innovative. It's good material. You could put them side by side like this and use them for track grip on your snowmobile trailer. Along with old ones. And that's probably what I'll end up doing with this stuff. Alright, so once you have those cut to length, you want to go ahead and trim the back of them and bevel it. So you want to bevel like this so the track can move past it without rubbing. Otherwise, you'll hear like a brrrr when you try and a rattling noise when you try and uh, move the sled. So you can really bevel it however you want. Just be careful. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be functional. Well, like I said, it don't have to be pretty, it's just got to be functional. And you want to make sure that you take it off from the back. This is the front. I'm sure everybody's got their own trick. I mean, you could take a foreign angle grinder, zing it off, you could put it in a, a bandsaw. I don't have a bandsaw, so scratch that idea. More than one way to skin a cat. All right, we got that done. The next step is to go back over to the sled and pound these back through and bolt them up. Go ahead and get this off here. Like I said, if you guys know a better way to uh, get these cut, let me know in the comments section. I'd like to know. I appreciate it. So we're at the back of the, the skid now. We're going to go ahead and line up the right window and then pound these back through.
All right. You could just use one of those pieces you cut off to finish the rest. All right, the next step is to go ahead and put your bolts back in. All right, so once you get the slides all the way up, we're gonna put our bolt back in, but we wanna make sure that we have access again to that bolt hole. So if you need to, go ahead and move your track whatever way to get it lined up. And then with your new slide, the hole might be a little tight, so just go ahead and Screw that bolt up in there. It's a little tight getting this other one on, but if you just come from the back of the skid and then set the nut up there, then have your other finger reach on the other side of the rail. Can normally get to it. You don't want to crank it up on there too hard because it'll push right through that rail slide. But that's it. Didn't even have to loosen the track or anything, so. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, it's a pretty easy process. You just un lift the sled up, unbolt the rail slides, pop them out through the back, give them a good yank, prep your new ones, pop those back in and bolt them back up. You don't have to do anything else. It's literally that easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel and you like this kind of stuff, please hit the subscribe button. Also hit the alert bell so you're notified of future updates. Chime in, say hello, give some friendly advice. 
If you guys know anybody else who likes this kind of content, please share on social media with family and friends. So thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you in the next video. So come on back. Take care. And God bless.